Welcome to CoughTrap, where we are strengthening communication through cloud-based, team-focused AAC solutions. We're glad you're here. How do I use the CoughDrop translation feature? CoughDrop offers a translation feature which allows users to translate an entire board into another language or create linked translations connected to the original speech board for quick movement between several languages. If users find a favorite board within the program, they can then translate the board into the language they are learning or the language they most often use. For more information on how CoughDrop can speak in languages other than English, look for our instructional video on that topic. To translate a speech board into a new language, first select the board to be translated and open it to the Board Actions page. If you already own the board that you would like to translate, you will be able to translate it without any additional steps. If the board is owned by another account, you will need to make your own copy of the board before you can translate it. You can verify the owner of a speech board at any time by checking the username noted in the board title here. Now you will need to decide if you want to have an additional secondary copy of this board in the other language or if you would like to add translations of this speech board which will then be hidden unless you choose to switch languages while in speak mode. If you want to have a standalone board in this new language, then open the drop down menu under More and select Make a Copy. If you are a supervisor, you will need to select the account for which you want to make a copy of this board. Then check the box near the bottom of the window to translate the board as the copy is made, and hit the blue button to begin the copy process. The program will now show you a list of the boards which will be translated. By default, the program will translate all of the boards connected to this board set, but you can choose to unselect some of the linked boards if you want to leave them in the original language. Again, hit the blue button to begin the translation process. You will see a preview of the default translations into your chosen language. You can adjust and alter the translations at this point so that the translated board better fits the needs of your communicator, and then hit Accept Translations at the bottom of the window. The program will now create a new speech board or board set to reflect the translations you set. This new board is its own board and can be adjusted and edited whenever that is necessary. You will be able to have different images and options on this board than the original board if you choose. Just edit the version of the board you want to adjust. If you have copies of the same board in multiple languages, you may want to add those boards to your sidebar for quick access to speech boards in these languages. However, if you want to have one singular speech board that holds versions of multiple languages for quick changes in speak mode, you can choose that option as well. This option means that you will have one version of the speech board in a chosen primary language, but you can access a translated version of that board in speak mode. This translation is not a speech board of its own. You will not be able to have different images, different colors, or different button settings on this board than on the original board because this translation will be the original board, but the buttons will show in the secondary language. If this is the option you would like to choose, open the drop-down menu on the Board Actions page and select Board Details. Now hit the Translate Board button. In the new window, select the language in which you would like to have the version of the board. If you want that new language to be the default language for this board, then check the box which reads, Switch to this as the default language. If you prefer to have the original version of the board and the language there as the default language but want to be able to view the board in this new language, uncheck the box and then hit Start Translation. Now you can preview and adjust the translation as needed, then hit Accept Translation to begin the translation process. Once the translation is complete, you will be able to open this board in speak mode Here and then go. choose Change Language from the menu under your user icon That's good. to quickly move to a version of this board in a different language. The program will automatically attempt to match a voice for the language you have chosen to the language on the speech board, but that is dependent on having a voice in that language available through your device. C'est bon.